All right, good afternoon, everyone. My name is David. My name is Hector. I'm Katie. I am Tyler. And I'm Alex. And we're going to be doing our presentation on Think Together. And so uh, Think Together, I Think Together, it's their mission to partner with schools to change the odds for kids. And this means closing the educational gap between socioeconomic classes and aiming to give all children an equal opportunity to a quality education through their nationally recognized after school programs. They achieve this by closely working with uh, schools to align their curriculum and activities with, this, with what students are learning during that. Next slide, please. And just a little background on Think Together. Uh, they formed in 1997 by a group of mothers and community leaders that were fed up with the growing gang and drug violence in the Costa Mesa neighborhood. And what began as a single after-school community center serving about 100 kids grew into a statewide organization that serves more than 200,000 kids in over 49 districts. From the Bay Area to San Diego, Think Together works directly with school districts to create nationally recognized learning programs that change the odds for underprivileged students. Next slide. And uh, in our first consultation with Elena Bosch, the public relations and communications manager at Think Together, we learned that they are seeking to increase Think Together's brand awareness to the local communities, members of the local media, and prospective donors, specifically by expanding, improving, and creating evergreen content for two existing campaigns. The student testimonial campaign, which highlights student successes on their website, and the donor um, recognition campaign, which recognizes donors for their contributions. <laughs> as well as creating social media calendars for upcoming months. Next slide, please. As a group, we decided to do the SWOT analysis because Think Together is a huge social program that focuses on a social problem. And through this analysis, we formulated and executed out tactics to effectively play off of the organization's strengths and improve upon their communicative weaknesses. As you can see, one of Think Together's strengths was its large network of programs. One of its weaknesses was its little brand recognition. And with that being said, it had opportunity to heighten, um, it has opportunity to heighten its social media presence. However, it's threatened by other after school programs and new social, um, new distance learning regulations. Next slide. So for the core problem, uh, Think Together has become an innovator in education that distinguishes itself from other after-school programs by uniquely catering to each school specific needs. However, the students and donor recognition programs um, campaigns in this organization are not fully utilized on their social media platforms to make evergreen content or to increase their activity amongst its key audiences. With this in mind, we leveraged existing social media platforms to heighten donor contribution, student successes, and create better brand awareness through social media engagement. I'm gonna hand it off to David. So next, uh, in order to um, see what type of message we want to convey to our key audiences and publics, um, we first uh, have to see, actually, let's first define those terms. And so um, an audience is a group of people to which communication messages are directed. Uh, this form of communication is one directional. And then publics, however, are groups of people to which communication messages are directed in order to stimulate interaction between the sender and people. This form of communication is back and forth, such as a relationship. And so next, with our testimonial strategy, our key audiences are community leaders, both elected and education, and members of the local media. We seek to highlight the impact Think Together has on students, which is preparing uh, students for a successful future. Uh, by promotion through enhanced follower interactivity, we aim to improve uh, follower engagement with these stories. Uh, this will increase our reach as Think Together's followers will be able to repost the stories on their own profiles, therefore spreading a message uh, the messages to followers who do not already follow Think Together on social media. More personal messages told through testimonials will prove effective for this audience because they also work towards improving children's futures. These similar goals will relate on a deeper level when hearing the voices of staff members and the children involved. As you can see in the graphic, uh, this is an example of a visual testimonial. It reads, for the first time uh, during an activity, the students smiled. And so everyone who works with children can agree that one of the most special moments is when you see the spark light up in a student's eye for the first time. Uh, these messages will resonate with community leaders and workers in education. 
and this plays more towards the emotional appeal as well. And so next, as far as our donor recognition strategy, our um, key audience is not only the 46 current donors, but prospective donors as well. Uh, we uh, seek to highlight the work that these individuals paid for, as well as recognize these donors for their involvement within the local community. Uh, potential donors are looking uh, to be involved in the community while simultaneously improving their own brand image. Uh, donors want their own community and leaders to acknowledge the good that their company is providing. These motivating self-interests will attract local businesses to donate to Think Together in order to improve uh, both parties' goals. At the bottom are Boeing and Target, a few examples of the major donors contributing to Think Together. And next, Tyler will discuss our goals. Thank you. So before we get into the goals and objectives of our campaign, we need to go over some definitions first. So the first one is going to be the local communities. Uh, these are going to be community leaders that are both elected and in the education sectors members of the local media, which is daily print, broadcast, and blogs, and as well the parents and students in these school districts that Think Together provides programs for. And then Snackable, a short, easily digestible, and engaging content. And then Evergreen content would be the shareable content that can be posted at any platform at any time for us to think together. So our main objective was to help with increase Think Together's brand awareness to the local communities and prospective donors through the Snackable and engaging content. So our first goal for the campaign was to help with the increase of social media engagement. Um, this would help with further brand awareness in these local communities by informing them and the media audiences on how Think Together can help prepare children for a college and a, and a career. So our first strategy was auxiliary support. During our first client team meetings, we, our team discovered that Think Together just needs a little bit of help with their foundation of their content calendar. This is due to the limited resources and team members due to budget constraints and COVID-19. We then helped create a foundation of the content calendar to help think together for future success. The second strategy was evergreen content. In the beginning of working with Think Together, we noticed that there was a little bit of a lack of cohesion between their social media platforms. So we were then tasked to create evergreen content that is more shareable and snackable and can be posted to any of our social media platforms that help tie into Think Together's mission statement. And we were also tasked with highlighting the national and international days in order to make sure Think Together has content to publish to all of their social media accounts. And then our last strategy was with the testimonial campaigns. We, we, would help, we helped with the implementation and creation of content for the testimony campaign that is already being worked on by Think Together and its team. And one of the tools we thought we would uh, help us with this campaign was Cision with a, to help learn a better understanding of their metrics, but we'll go into that a little bit later um, on why we were not able to use that. So moving on to our second goal, it was to help with the improve the donor recognition program for their existing donors. And the strategy with this was to help, uh, they help, they already have a good relationship with their donors, but we wanted to help expand this relationship. We created postings that highlighted their current donors to help further cement the relationship of supporting them together through show, celebrating their generosity, sharing their stories on how they made a difference, and then also how making each donor feel that they're the most important donor for Think Together. So through these strategies, we think that we know that Think Together will be in a better position to take advantage of their resources and team members. With our auxiliary support and creation of evergreen content, the Think Together team can focus on energies on important advocacy work within the local communities and safety measures for on-site programs. Additionally, with the content that Think Together can expect an increase in brand awareness and overall social media presence on all their platforms. And I will hand it off to Katie next. Thank you, Tyler. So I'll be talking about our resources. One of our major resources was the clients themselves. And as before mentioned, donor highlights and testimonials were a huge part of our campaign. And we received that information from the client themselves, as well as brand guidelines that helped us create social media posts in line with the Think Together brand image. To create these social media posts, we use Canva and Photoshop as well as Premiere Pro to edit the role with. The California After School Program, uh, After School Network, excuse me, was a resource that we used to pull information for infographics. And our team also heavily relied on Google Suite platforms, including Google Slides, Google Docs, and Google Drive to simultaneously work on projects and to share projects with our client. Zoom was also another instrumental resource 
in our campaign, it allowed us to have frequent team meetings and meetings with our client in a safe and virtual environment. And lastly, we use Function Fox to track our billable and non-billable hours. So next, I'll talk about the major timeline changes. In our initial proposal, we had planned on doing a November social media calendar. However, after discussion with our client, we decided that a December and January social media calendar would be more beneficial. Our team then added a third February calendar just to ensure that Think Together would have even more content to work with. Our client also requested that we include national days such as National SEM Day and National Random Acts of Kindness Day to give our calendar even more evergreen content. We were also requested to create infographics highlighting the benefits of after, of after school programs and testimonial quote graphics to accompany our extensive copy. So if we go on the next slide, we'll see some examples of those. So here's a testimonial quote graphic and an infographic that our team created. And on the next slide, we'll see a B-roll clip that we edited for an Instagram story. I'll talk about the campaign timeline. Um, in the first two weeks of our timeline, we had a bit of a slow start, but our team used that time to mostly research the donors associated with Think Together. And beginning in week three until week eight is when our team really spent our energies researching, editing, and writing copy for our three month calendar. Then in week seven until week nine is when we started to edit our social media visuals. And that concludes our campaign timeline. Now, Alex will tell us about our campaign outcomes and measurements. Awesome. So our campaign outcomes focused on gaining brand awareness and engagement for Think Together social media properties. And we were able to do this by focusing on the three pillars of awareness, engagement, and recognition. So like we said, our goals were to create a structured social media content calendar, help improve their testimonials and improve their donor recognition and evergreen content. So we achieved this by reconstructing their social media calendar. We read through their large testimonial submissions and organized them into deliverable copy. We researched the donors and personalized their messages to be shared through social media. Um, and we combined all of this copy into the detailed calendar itself. Um, and additionally, from writing the copy for them, we also generated media graphics and videos to be shared covering topics such as COVID-19, STEM, and after-school programs as a whole. And next, I'll show you what that calendar looks like. So the calendar on the left is a very brief overview of the organic content. Uh, it's a quick look at the campaign and the day that it needs to be posted. And then our calendar on the right is the detailed content calendar that includes all of the copy, the platforms in which it needs to be shared on, um, notes and images that go along with those posts. And next I'll go ahead and talk about our measurement and success for this campaign. So first and foremost, we felt as though we completed and successfully executed what our client needed from us. And we're even able to provide an extra month of content for them to help the transition between our group and the next group. Um, but because our calendar is set for December through February, we won't be able to see any of our work go live this semester, um, hence in the, us not being able to track any of the measurements uh, regarding awareness and engagement. But uh, luckily, Prad will be working with Think Together again next semester, and we hope that the next team to take over will be able to take um, the metrics gained from our work and kind of help that and help Think Together. In the and next, I'll go ahead and pass it back to Tyler. Thank you. So there were a couple of challenges that we had faced during this campaign um, that we were able to overcome, but we wanted to kind of discuss those a little bit. So the first was a slow start, like Katie mentioned earlier. Uh, we really wanted to make sure we learned the brand voice and made sure we had a cohesive plan to make sure that we could link all the social media platforms together in a more meaningful way. Uh, once we did get the brand line, the brand guidelines, the donor information and testimonials, we were able to create the content, but at first we, uh, there were some approval delays to get those. Elena had to get approval from other Think Together team members in order for us to get access to those, but once we got those, those were no problem for us. 
Another challenge was COVID-19. Um, it further restricted the limited resources that Think Together had, and it also helped hinder the on-site visuals that they were able to capture, like student pictures and video on their programs that they do. And unfortunately, Cision was unable to capture the metrics for Think Together correctly, so we were unable to use them for this campaign, but we hope that that's something that can be used for next semester's group. And so then I'll go over to our recommendation. So since Think Together will be working with uh, Prad in the spring 2021 semester, these are some of the few recommendations that we have. So they will be able to analyze the metrics of our content and with those metrics, we hope that they are able to create some fresh insight and ideas for Think Together and create new and engaging ways to in, with their local communities and all their audiences. And then they're also um, the hope with the Think of the Map campaign that's being worked on currently by Think Together. Uh, so hopefully the new team can help with implementation of that in a, in a more impactful way. Uh, and then also with uh, expanding on social media tools, Instagram has now come out with a new tool called uh, Reels where it's a scro like infinitely scrolling video content or sort of like TikTok. So hopefully they can be able to use that in a new way. There's also interactive polls on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to create more fun and engaging content uh, that they can use for next semester as well. And then probably also use TikTok to reach new brand, uh, brand audiences and engage with them in a new and creative way. And then also for the next semester to have access to more of the creative assets from Think Together, such as the logos, the correct logos, the fonts, the typefaces, and the color schemes to make sure everything fits. And then uh, Elena has also talked about how she's pushing her team to create editorial guidelines for their social media. So once that is created, then that team will be able to get that as well. So to quickly summarize, we identify the core problems and opportunities for Think Together. We then established the goals and strategies and how to increase the brand awareness and engagement. We talked about our outcomes and we also talked about our measurement of success with Elena and with our content creation and for next semesters. And then we also talked about the challenges we overcame and the recommendations we have for next semesters group. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you.